All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha HaKadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone that teach and rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, Shalom. I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbia, Georgia Church. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shemal Shai, praying, hoping that you listen, be edifying. Um... Just doing a response to the beloved Elder Apostle Gabar um, video about make peace with your biological father. And I just watched it and uh, threw it in the group chat, you know, with our account down here. And it's spiritual because um, I grew up with, you know, daddy issues. Just going to be honest. Can't lie about it. You know, I'm a young brother, you know. Uh, <clears throat> and it's, it's just a blessing to come into this truth and make it right, you know, with your parents, man, especially your father, man, because I was told this and that, and I really hurt my father's feelings, man. I done wicked things and said things that I that I I'm ashamed of, and I had to pay for it, you know. The Lord judged me for, you know, for a plethora of things, things in my past life, things I've done in this life, and in the particular, to the thing, you know, being disrespectful, man. So, um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear, oh, hear, hear me, your father, oh children. So lucky. Let me end this route real quick. Hear me, O oh your father. Hear me, your father, O oh children, and do after that you may be safe. It says, For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children, and have confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Because in the commandments it says, Honor thy father and thy mother. The father's first, man. Because that's just like the Apostle Bible said, um, through the Spirit, wouldn't be no Israelite if it wasn't for your father. Why? Because the man has, he carried the seed, you know, which is the sperm and plants it inside of the woman, which makes the child. And she, she only carries the child. But us as men, we're the, we're, we're, we have the, the jewels to produce, you know, to procreate. So... <clears throat> the Wadi Habashima Roshah for giving me my father, for allowing me to be an Israelite. So um, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 3. Whoso honored his father, making make an atonement for his sins. Okay? Making a, make it, make it an atonement for his sins, man. Making it right, man. You know? That's not right, disrespecting your father all because you heard some BS coming up from your mother, grandmother, or one of your other siblings disliked it or hated their father, you know? And um, honestly, I grew up, like I said, I grew up with those issues, you know, really confused, hearing two, three different things, and it was just negativity. It was a bunch of agony. And the whole time, every time I used to go with my father, go to my pop's house, it was always consistency on him telling me this and telling me that. And that's, you know, I ain't going to go into too many details, but you really find out that your mom done lied to you about things. And I still love my mama. I respect my mama. But, hey, that's just the bitter part, man. You know, because now I'm with children. I have a number of children, and, hey, it can go the same way because we're under curses, man. We're under curses, so I forgive my father. I made it right with my pops, man. And we have, if not the best bond, one of the best bonds, you know? And I really appreciate that because I, I haven't always had that, man. My daddy, he's he just a man. He, he ain't do nothing but, but be a man. He's not in the truth, but he's still a man, though. You know? He's still a man, you know? So... Verse 4, Sirach 3 and 4, and he that honored his mother is as one that led up treasure. Whoso honored his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he make of his prayer, he shall be heard. And something that my pops told me, um, 
something that my pops told me, man, that, um, you know, really made me be quiet. And um, he said, I commend you. You know, I'm not going to detail my government name, but he said, I, I, I commend you on what you're doing with my grandchildren because I wasn't able to do that like that. You know, I still took care of y'all and the best way I could. He was on child support and, you know, had a family by another woman. Um, I mean, long as she ain't got another man, he wasn't wrong, which is my oldest sister, you know. But um, the point I'm making is, you know, he seen how 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 I am, and he was just like, I commend you that. I, hey, that's the spirit. I'm, I'm behind this SUV and the 144 and the tag, man. So the apostle is dead on point, man, through the spirit. Make peace with your father, man. And we got the best bond. And so like I ain't trying to be long-winded, but that, that is a a, a a beautiful thing. And, and people, us as Israelites, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, we have that issue, man. You know? If you don't, cool. But if you have that issue, make it right, man. Make it right with your pops, man. That's why you got a lot of thugs and wicked drug dealers and, and scammers and, and, and just degenerates out here because they got daddy issues. That's why they're so effeminate. That's why they're so opinionated because they got their mother spirit. You're so rowdy, rowdy. You're not reasonable. You're not coachable, you know? <laughs> so, Sirach chapter 3 and verse 6. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life. And he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. And the Lord hates that, man. He don't like when you disrespect and dishonor your father and mother, man. You know? And I done it. And guess what? Hey, the water you have shot for the chastening. Because you allowed me to make it right with my parents. Both of them. My, starting out with my father. You know? Because I had more issues with my pop than my mom. I stayed with my mom, man. Or I moved out. You know, long time ago, it was always this young, and this, you know, just having those demons on you, man. It's like I'm trying to drive this, get to this location, trying to, um, you know, you hearing this and hearing that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that um, pisses the Lord off, man, because you ain't doing it right, man. And also, it makes your pops feel like, like he don't even understand. You know, he done took his mama and grandmama side hearing all this agony and negativity and he don't understand the, the real truth if he find out the truth you know <laughs> he'll hey if if, if, if you how about you about shine with you it'll bug you out man when you find out the things you know your mama don't lie to you your family on your mama's side really was against your pops the whole time and i'm not praying my father out to be this perfect guy at all you know but pops know man Think about it. My mother was his woman before she was my mother. <clears throat> so this is Sirach chapter 3 and 7. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his master. That's why that's why um when you come into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shemar Shad is true. You make it right, man. You make it right, man. You no longer live like how you live. You don't. You you, you no longer have that that guile, that that hatred, those grudges. You no longer have that in your heart no more. You make it right, even if you gotta cry with your pops. However, man, make it right with him while he living, man. You know. And me and my daddy got the best bond, man. Like. It's, it's nothing we can't talk about. Of course, he's a man. I yes, sir, no, sir. Still talk to him to this day. He call on me. I mean, call him and check on me. I call and check on him. You know, mm. I respect his wife. You know, um, and, and he and he loves his grandchildren, man. And like he always tell me, no matter if you and that woman you with, you know, because you ain't promised to be with a son, but take care of my my grandchildren, man. Be a man, man up, and, and, and be a man. And guess what? The water. Y'all about to for putting a pops in my life, man, to hear those words. <clears throat> so, Sirach chapter 3 and 8. It says, Under thy father and mother, both in word and deed, 
that a blessing may come upon thee from them. And you learn so much once you make it right. Because it's hard to see when you're blinded, man. But once you make it right, you know, the Lord, he come through. There be so much that's available. And you see it, man. You have more access to learning and gaining things. It ain't even got to be carnal things, but like spiritual things, man. Like you just pick up on how to be a better man and learn things about your pops, man. You know, you can feel it. You can feel it, man. And my pops, he's older in age, man. I think he's like 60, 59 or 60. You know, I'm 31, you know, but, <clears throat> you know, I love my pops, man. I mean, you can look at it all sentimental, but we ain't, I ain't no tough guy. Oh, I'm too, I got too many, too much pride to, you know, and like I said, just making a response video to the elder apostle Babar, and it's a beautiful video he made, man. And I felt like through the spirit to make a lesson because you never know, you know, it may be guys, newcomers that don't know how to do that, that don't understand what, what making it right is about. You know, you're commanded to honor your father and mother. You don't just come to the truth and then I ain't going to do that. I still hate that nigga. That nigga, nigga, that nigga lame, man. That nigga did, did. My mama said this, man, forget that, man. Make it right. Sit down. Listen. Let him teach you over again about what you don't know. You don't have knowledge of what he already know. You know? <clears throat> Sirach chapter 3, verse 9. For the blessing of the father establishes, establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother root out foundations. And man, Lord knows I found out some things, man. But it's okay, you know. It's okay because, um, <clears throat> hey, Yahweh Bashamah Shah is merciful, man. Yahweh Bashamah Shah, he's merciful. And the Lord don't make no mistakes, man. You know? And think about it. It ain't cool holding grudges, man. You don't supposed to hold grudges. That's a law. You don't supposed to be holding grudges, man. Um, verse 10, glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee, man. So so I was dead wrong. I was off. I was off, man. May you have a smile shot have side him over me, man. Because I did make it right. But still, man, there's nothing wrong with repenting again and again and again. You know, because I look at my pops, man, I, and I feel bad at times. You know, I, I, I done made it right, but still, like, it was my fault. And I'm and I'm man enough to admit that it was my fault. You know, I, I, I understand we're under the curses, and, but my pop never done me nothing wrong, man. You know, it was it was all in the mind and, and, and what was planted in my head. They planted that negative seed in my head, and it started growing, and it made me have hatred towards my father, which is wrong, which is wrong, man. <clears throat> For the glory of man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help thy father his age, and give him not as long, and grieve him not as long as he lives, man. Don't make it hard for your pops. And I got a brother. You know, my pops made three sons by my mom, and, um, I come out to be the, the third son, man. <clears throat> and it's crazy, you know, it's not, it's no coincidence, but my mom tried to abort me three times, man. I still love my mom and I forgive her, you know? You know, man, but my pops, you know, talk to me about a lot, man. And I come out being the third child and three means what, um, confirmation or understanding, if I'm not mistaken, you know? But, um... My mom tried to get rid of me three times, man. You know, made me question a lot of things. And I don't heard this and heard that, but the point I'm making still is that's my daddy, man. That's my pops, man. And it's a blessing that the Lord allowed me to make it right with my pops, man. You know? Because a lot of people out here, like I was saying, my brothers, I got one one of my brothers in the spirit where he was murdered years ago. And the other brother I have left, my earthly brother, because the brother's in the truth, that's my real family, but uh, my earthly brother, my pop son, um, you know, he's still in denial and disrespectful and, 
if he don't get it right, man, the Lord don't judge him, man. You know? Mm-hmm. So I end the lesson off with verse 13. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. That's why I, I check on my pops. Go over there and make it right. He, he plant a garden in his backyard, bring, my grand, bring his grandchildren, which are my children, over there and let them play with them and just help them out, man. Pop, I clean this up for you. Let me do this. You know, I need to come cut your grass for you. I don't mind. You know, I need to. As I'm speaking now, I need to go over there again and help my pops out, man. Again, old, man. You know? So, um, I brought this out. It was an edifying lesson through the spirit and power you have by Shemar Shai. I would like to close out by giving all glory and honor and infinite praises unto Yahweh by Shami. I was shy by Shami. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great ministry on that teaching real well. Peace, Lord, salutations to the hope for the lips. Shalom.